In this video I'm going to show you how to use the Palette Photoshop action. So the way the action works is you open up your photo and you just play the action. And here is the result that the action creates. So as you can see what the action does, the action transforms your photo into painting done with the Palette Knife technique. Alright. And the results that you get are fully layered, there is a lot of options for customizing the results and the action also creates 30% color looks that you choose from. Alright, so let me just close this window now. So after you open up your photo before you use the action, there are just a few things you should check uh, just to make sure that the action will run without any errors. So the first thing you should check is that your photo is the background layer. So it should be called the background and here this is the lock icon. And if you have something like this or something else, just go to layer, new, uh, choose a background from layer. And this step is going to turn your photo into background layer if it wasn't. And then click on this main icon right here and choose panel options and make sure that this option here, the add copy to copy layers groups is checked. And go to the image mode, make sure your photo is the RGB color mode 8-bit kennel. Also check the image size from here. So for best results you should use the images that are around from 25 to 40, 4500 pixels wide or high. All right. So to load the action go to window, actions, click on the main icon right here, load actions and just choose the action from a folder according to your Photoshop version. Select the action file, choose load, and the action will appear here in your actions panel. And all you have to do now is just select the action and click play. And the action is going to stop once with a message asking you to uh, choose some settings. So what I'm going to do now is just gonna play the action and fasten the video I get back when the message shows. Alright, so here's the message. It says, in the next pop-up window, adjust the stroke size value as you like. Keep in mind that lower values keep more photo details while the higher values keep less. Choose continue to proceed. So you choose continue. And now here what you can do, you can zoom out a little bit to better see your photo and the result. And all you need to do is to just adjust the stroke size value here. And as I said in the message, if you use the lower values, you'll see that uh, the details of your photo will be more recognizable and better visible. Alright, so you just adjust this value here depending on the look you want to achieve. So, alright. I'm going to set it like this. And after you finish, just click OK and the action will continue to work. I'm going to fasten the video here and I'm going to get back when the action is finished and then I'm going to go throughout all the layers to show you how each layer works, how to affect the design, and how can you customize it. Alright, so the action here just finished, so I'm just going to close the actions panel and going to expand a little bit this layers panel. So the first thing that you probably want to do each time you run the action is to just quickly close down all these folders and how can you quickly do that? To just hold control and dial buttons for PC or command option for Mac and while the palette folder is selected just click a little arrow here. On that we are going to uh, close down all the folders. So I'm going to start customizing these effects from the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide all the layers and I'm going to start them on one by one. And because that way you better understand how each layer works and how it affects the design. So the first layer we got here is the painting layer. So I'm just going to turn it on. And this is a base for the painting look. Okay. And the next one we got here is the highlights and shadows folder. So I'm just going to turn it on. And when you open the folder, you will find two layers here. The highlights layer and the shadows layer. Alright. So this layer is just going to pop out all the highlights and shadows in your photo and what you can do is you can um, select the layer and and uh, adjust its opacity. So all the layers that you customize by changing the opacity, you can change the opacity either by clicking on the word opacity and drag it to the side or you can click on this arrow here and then just move this slider left or right. Okay. I'm just going to leave it default and you can do the same with the shadows layer going to leave it default as well. And what you can also do is to select the layer mask of any of those two layers and if there is some specific highlight or shadow that you wish to remove, you can just select the layer mask, pick a brush tool, right click anywhere inside the canvas, choose a salt brush, set foreground color to black and just brush over the highlight that you wish to remove or, or the shadow. Right. So the next one we got here are the textures. So I'm just going to turn on the folder. 
and when you open the folder you find the three textures here so the first we got is the canvas texture All right and what you can do you can change the opacity here All right and we got the help tone texture And here we got the palette knife texture. So just going to turn it on, and just see what this uh, texture does. It has these the palette knife details, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove a little bit of this texture over these areas where the photo doesn't have too much details. All right, so just going to select the layer mask. I'm going to pick the brush tool, salt brush, foreign color to black, and just going to remove the details a little bit these areas just like that and just gonna brush a little bit here all right and now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna open up the properties panel you can find it here and I'm just gonna change the density of the layer mask so when the density is set 100% and brush with the black ever uh, over your photo, you're going to remove this layer on dead areas completely. So when you lower the opacity, if you set it to zero, the layer mask won't work, so the layer will be fully visible no matter where you have brushed. So with this slider here, you can adjust how much you wish that this layer mask actually takes effect over the layer. So you can literally set it to 50% and you will have uh, this layer on the area where you have brushed uh, visible like it has the 50% opacity right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the density a little bit because I don't want to remove the texture in these areas completely I just want to lower the opacity of the textures uh, on these areas so I'm just going to lower the opacity a little bit All right just like that and the next what we got here is the ambos folder so I'm just going to turn it on and we got two layers here Right, so these layers are really going to give that 3D paint look to the photo and gonna make the whole effect much more realistic. So what you can do, you can adjust the opacity here. And this layer is going to affect the details of the photo painting and this one here is going to affect the details of the uh, lit knife texture. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to remove this layer on the same areas where I have removed the palette knife texture. All right, so I'm just going to take a brush tool, pick a soft brush set for color to black, and just brush over this area again. And what you can also do is if you wish to remove this uh, layer on the same areas where you removed this one, you can just select this layer mask and Alt and Option click and just drag this layer mask over this one here and you're just going to duplicate the layer mask to this layer All right? or you can simply select the layer mask and just brush again so the reason why I'm brushing here over this layer is because as I mentioned this layer here is going to just um, it affects this palette knife texture layer so it's going to make a 3D look of this texture and gonna make it more visible now as I have wanted to reduce the visibility of this layer of this texture on, s uh, on specific areas uh, I need to brush for this layer as well to lower the opacity of that embos effect of the texture on these areas All right. so I'm just gonna quickly brush like this and again I'm just gonna lower the opacity Alright, so now I just have the palette knife uh, texture and the embos layer. Uh, I just have their opacities lowered a little bit on this clean area of the photo where there is not much details. Right? And what we got next here are the color looks, so I'm just gonna turn it on. And when you open the folder, you'll find 30% color looks that you can choose from. And all you have to do is to just select the color look, turn it on. 
and you see how it looks and if it doesn't work with your folder just try with another and what you can also do is you can combine a few of color looks so you can for example turn on this one and turn on this one then you can change their opacities and achieve a completely new look All right. and in this example I'm going to use this color over here All right I'm just gonna leave its opacity to default and what we got next is the overall contrast which is going to drain on and how you adjust the contrast is you just change the opacity it's just going to boost the contrast a little bit and the next layer we got is the overall brightness I'm going to turn it on and with double click here what you can do is to adjust the brightness of the photo using these five sliders so you can use this slider here to boost the shadows you can use this one here to boost the highlights this one here is affecting the mid-tones and you get these two sliders and this one here is fading the shadows and this one here is fading the highlights All right. so this is the default setting uh, action will fade a little bit of the shadows so what I'm going to do in this example I'm just gonna just like this okay and the next one we got is the overall vibrance and saturation layer so just gonna turn it on and you can just double click on this layer thumbnail and here using these two sliders you can adjust the vibrance and saturation I'm just gonna increase it a little bit all right just like that and last we got here is the overall sharpening layer so just gonna turn it on and if you many changes to the photo like I did here I actually lower the opacity of the textures on some specific areas uh, what you need to do is to just create this layer again and so just delete this layer and press Control Alt Shift and D or Command Option Shift and D on the keyboard to make a screenshot. And then just press Control Shift U or Command Shift U to desaturate this layer. And then just go to the filter, other high pass, and set radius to one pixel. Right? And now just change the blending mode of this layer to hard light. Right? And what you can do now is just change the opacity of this layer to adjust the amount of sharpening. All right, and that's it. So I'm pretty happy with the result. And let's just quickly check the before and after effect. So this is the before, and this is the after. All right. So I hope you understood everything. But if you still need any help or you got any questions, feel free to contact me anytime via my Invato profile page. Thanks for watching.